Zambian people to speak finally through their members of parliament who they bestowed the responsibility to speak on their behalf through this assembly. That has culminated in this day. History is being recorded today. And posterity shall read this history. And we shall be judged by how we handle matters of state. I'm very pleased to have been the shepherd of this process. I'm very satisfied that the Zambian people today have been treated to this debate. Unfortunately, they have only listened to one side of the debate. The other side has chosen to remain mute. And silent they shall be forever. The fact that they have refused to speak here, where they were allowed to come and speak on behalf of the 17 million people, they should know that they have lost that opportunity forever. Those who have spoken, my dear brothers and sisters, I want to urge you, let this campaign not end today. Let this campaign go out to the villages. Let it go up on the mountains of Zambia. Let it go in the valleys of this country. Let the people know and let the people understand who came to this house to represent them and who have used this house to represent themselves and to represent their myopic interests. Time for us to reckon has come. Honorable Minister of Justice, the word myopic. So I withdraw myopic and replace it with short-sightedness. Sir, I want to say that on this side we have always been clear that this debate shall not be a question of numbers, but shall be a question of morality, shall be a question of principle. And let those men and women who stand on the basis of principle take the armor of the day. Let them be the ones who shall stand tall and say, even when we were insulted and criticized because we believed in the principle of working for the Zambian people, not only the current population, but the populations that shall inherit this country, the populations that shall be represented in here through this parliament, let them know that we stand firm. We are determined. We shall not stop here, sir. I speak on behalf of these men and women. We shall continue to soldier on to provide the rights of the Zambian people to be represented here in Parliament. I call upon the citizens of Zambia to reckon today that the people on your right are people who are determined to provide them leadership that is inspired and leadership that wishes to ensure that we leave nobody behind. Let the vote be called and the numbers to us are no longer significant. We have today demonstrated that the men and women on your right, led by Edgar Chagwalungu, shall be men and women who shall stand for the truth, irrespective of the outcome of the count of the vote. Today, we are the victors. On behalf of the PF, I want to say to the Zambian people, thank you for giving us the opportunity to govern you. And we shall present ourselves yet again in 2021. And please give us the confidence that you have given us. Because we are a group of people, men and women, who will not falter because of pieces of silver, because of selfishness, because of greed. Sir, I want to end by thanking God Almighty for giving the Zambian people, the men and women on your right. May God continue to bestow his love on Zambia. One Zambia, one nation. In victory, we shall be together. Sir, I thank you most sincerely. Honorable members, this is a constitutional bill. The procedure for amending the constitution is provided for in Article 79 of the Constitution of Zambia, which provides as follows, and I quote, Article 79.1. Subject to the provisions of this article, Parliament may alter this constitution or the Constitution of Zambia Act, two, subject to clause three, a bill for the alteration of this Constitution or the Constitution of Zambia Act shall not be passed 
unless aired not less than 30 days before the first reading of the bill in the National Assembly, the text of the bill is published in the Gazette, and B, the bill is supported on second and third readings by the votes of not less than two-thirds of all members of the Assembly. Two-thirds of all members of the Assembly is 111. In addition to this constitutional provision, Standing Order 22 of the National Assembly of Zambia, Coronavirus Disease 2019, Temporary Standing Orders 2020, provides as follows. 22. On the Constitution of Zambia Amendment Bill, number 10 of 2019, and on any other matter requiring a specific threshold prescribed by law to pass, the House shall vote electronically using the multimedia system in the chamber, end of quote. In this regard, in order to comply with the Constitution and the temporary standing orders, I request those members participating from the designated rooms to proceed here to the chamber immediately for purposes of voting. The whips, please ensure your members are in the chamber as soon as possible. Ring the bells. Unlock the doors. And now proceed to put the question for the decision of the House. I put the question. The question is that the bill be now read a second time. The House will proceed to vote electronically. Please log in to the system. When you hear the paging sound, the vote has opened and the voting screen is displayed on your microphone unit. Select the present key on the right side of the screen you will see the words, please cast your vote. Select one of the options, yes, no, or abstain. Once you've selected one of the options, you see the words, vote has been cast on the right side of the screen. When you hear the second page in sound, the vote will close after one minute. You have just voted. The results of the poll are as follows. Eyes 105, nose 0, abstention 0. The question is therefore less than the required threshold 
and accordingly is negatived as less than two-thirds of all members of the assembly have voted in the affirmative. Therefore, the bill falls away. Yeah. Yeah. Next order. Estimates of revenue and expenditure, including capital and constitutional and starter expenditure, Committee of Supply, resumption of committee work. The House will now resolve into Committee of Supply. When business was interrupted yesterday, order, honorable members, order. Let me just do this part, then you can proceed. Let me just do this part. When business was interrupted yesterday, Wednesday, 28th, October 2020, the Committee of Supply on the Estimates for the year 1st January 2021 to 31st December 2021, presented to the National Assembly in September 2020, was considering Head 39, Smart Zambia Institute, and Professor Lungwangwa was debating. May he continue? Thank, thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair. Um, Smart Zambia is an extremely important institution. It is an institution that will see to it that Zambia is truly transformed. Madam, Madam, Madam Chair, what Smart Zambia is ultimately going to do for this country is to ensure that government services are delivered efficiently and effectively in a cost-effective manner. This is very important. Government services have to be efficient to the citizens. Equally, the citizens have to, to, to experience effi effective or efficient government services. Government services to business has to be efficient. And the business has to ensure that what government is delivering in terms of services is efficient. Government to government services have equally to be efficient. This is what Smart Zambia ultimately will do for this country. And when we look at, for example, the Transforming Africa Summits, Behind those summits is, of course, the quest for information and communication technology to transform all the African countries. And this is exactly what we are doing in our country through Smart Zambia. Madam Speaker, thank you. Uh, Honour the Vice President, wind up debate. Person. Um, I just want to respond to a few honorable members who contributed to the, uh, to the Smart Zambia budget. Um, on the issue of the uh, mandate that uh, Smart Zambia has not lived up to its mandate, Madam Chairperson, the Smart Zambia Transformation Agenda has promoted creation of innovative jobs using digital platforms as evidenced by the increase in the number of mobile money service providers, internet uh, business centers, um, uh, 
uh, internet service providers and over 100 ICT solution providers and vendors. The government shall continue promoting the dissemination of information for public and private media houses that are in good standing with the independent broadcasting authority. Um, Madam Chairperson, um, Smart Zambia has contributed a lot to uh, order your honor. Unfortunately, it's time up. As the time is 16.55 hours, I interrupt committee work and the committee work stands adjourned. The committee will report progress and ask Cliff to sit again. Mr. Speaker, I have to report to the House that the Committee of Supply on the Estimates of Revenue and Expenditure for the year 1st January 2021 to 31st December 2021 has considered Head 39 Smart Zambia Institute. The committee has made progress and asks leave to sit again. Therefore, resumption of committee work. Uh, tomorrow, Mr. Speaker. Committee work to resume tomorrow. The House. is now adjourned.